Your teenage child has been diagnosed with functional neurological disorder, short for FND, and no matter how hard your child tries to get better, you hear your child saying something like this, I can't, there's no way I can control my body, I can't do this. Well, first of all, why and what can you do as a parent to help your child? Hi, my name is Dr. Lee. I'm a pediatric health psychologist and chronic pain survivor myself. My mission is to help teens and their parents resolve persistent symptoms such as chronic pain and FND so that they can get their life back and feel like normal again. Because I truly believe every teen who's struggling with chronic pain and FND deserves so much more in their lives. If you're new to this channel, welcome and make sure to grab a free PDF parenting guide on how to help your teen at home who's struggling with chronic pain and FND. The link is down below. All right, so today's video is about FND and this limited mindset of I can't. When I say mindset, it's not just a psychological thing. As I mentioned, FND is a biopsychosocial phenomenon, right? And there are tons of videos about what FND is and influencing factors and things like that. But when I say mindset, um, it can be a little bit confusing. So let me clarify this. When your child says, I can't, there are two prongs to it. One is for starters, if your child is not working or has not worked with the FND specialist, then your child legitimately doesn't know how to control their body. So of course it totally makes sense, right? Therefore your child may be feeling hopeless and helpless about their ability to overcome these complex conditions. So that's one for sure, legit mindset stuff, but for a good reason, right? And the second thing is related to FND being a biopsychosocial model. So this is purely biological thing that I'm going to talk about. It has something to do with your child's brain functioning actually. So there is a part of the brain right here. It's called right temporal parietal junction in this area in the brain that has something to do with two things. One is the level of the sense of self agency. So teens and patients with FND has been found to have this area under activated. Therefore, what that means is this sense of self agency is lower compared to other people who don't have FND. So self agency, that means this kind of thing about, yes, I got this, you know, I can do it and I feel confident and I can do this. So that thing, the self agency is lower compared to other people who don't have FND. Therefore your child is likely to say, I can't or feel and think and smell like I can't legitimately because of the biological phenomena and related to this area, it also is associated with motor control. So if your teenage child has been diagnosed with FND and experiencing things like functional tics, tremors, twitches, and involuntary movement like choking behaviors or eating non-food stuff nonstop, those are all connected to the under activation or dysfunction of this right temporal parietal junction of their brain. So once again, they're not faking, but legitimately both mentally and physically, they're sort of having this uphill battle. Therefore your child is more likely to say, I can't compare to maybe other kids. Now, what can you do? What can you do about this? So first of all, once your teenage gets a diagnosis with FND, then what I do recommend is you get educated about FND. Now there are more information coming up, not only my channel, but there are a couple of websites that has good FND information. So I'll post the links down below. But other than that, what you can do is you can educate and validate your child. So the validation to your child would look something like this. Hey, sweetie. Oh, this is when your child says, I can't. Okay. So in response to that, what you can say is this, Hey, sweetie, I'm sorry to hear that. And you're really trying hard, huh? Or I get a sense that you feel like things are out of control and you sound frustrated about the loss of control of your body. I hear you. And what you can say is I learned today, either through a video or elsewhere 
the way that you feel like you're not having much of a control in your body is actually not your fault. In fact, it's part of your brain not working correctly. But the good news is, it is a learned habit, and it's true. So then you can retrain your brain by learning how to do that. So those are the things that you can say to validate your child's legitimately having a hard time. Number two, what you can do on that note is to find an FND specialist to work with. So then your child is equipped with tools and skills under their belt to feel better and higher sense of self agency to control their body. FND is a legit condition, and your child is absolutely not faking. And FND can be very debilitating. However, with the right approach, it can definitely be treatable, manageable, if not solvable. Now, if you and your bright teenage child are ready to take actionable steps to resolve persistent physical symptoms such as chronic pain and FND, then you might be a good fit for my program. Click the link below to schedule a call to talk to me directly and see if you qualify for the program. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video.